What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up, sun seeds? What's up? This your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is, sun seeds, for this message to resonate. Sun seeds, please make sure you're using discernment. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Sun seeds, also be mindful to be past, present, or future. If this is not your energy, this can just be someone external close to you. What's up, my sun seeds? What's up? I hope everyone is doing well. I know you guys are because that's the intention that you guys are setting out to the universe. Sun seeds. I got two cards out here, right? Sirens. Ready confirmation. Somebody is about to receive a miracle or could have just received a miracle. Okay? Um, Spirit is saying with this miracle, expect the wanderers to emerge. So... There's some type of miracle that you guys, you guys could have manifested something, um, set your intentions out on something, but I'm getting like, with this, it's like a genie in a bottle, like whatever you want, you can have, whatever you want, you can have it, okay? And then we have the Ace of Earth. It says the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture or important documents or contracts. So you guys could be, um, starting a business. Um, you guys could be signing documents or a contract. Maybe you guys just signed the contract to a new home or to a new business. Whatever this is, Spirit just said it's about to bring you an inflow of abundance. Okay. Um, this abundance could be a new home, it could be a new job. Um, whatever these contracts is, it's about to bring you in a lot of a lot of abundance. Okay. So just be expected that you guys could already have received this. I want to put one more card for the miracles. Holy Spirit, give me one more card for the miracles. Miracles. Yeah, stepping into your power. You guys are stepping into your power at this time. You are strong beyond measure. It's giving me a lot of self-love, um, confidence. You guys are very ambitious at this time. You guys are taking charge of your life. You guys are definitely stepping into your power. Like, whatever you want, you are going after that. Okay? And we have surrendering to the journey. Release control. So, you guys could have definitely released control um, and started surrendering to the journey. Maybe you guys were trying to hold on to something. Maybe something... Um, you could have been contemplated whether you should move forward or not. But you, um, whatever this is, you got some type of enlightenment. Maybe you guys um, had a situation. Maybe you guys felt stuck. You didn't know, you know what you was going to do. Um, should I stay? Should I go? Um, you guys are very wise. I'm getting a lot of wisdom. Somebody who's very wise. You guys, with this light on this boat, you guys could have definitely got some type of download or enlightenment. Okay, so just, you know, surrender to the divine. This, I'm hearing go go with the flow of things. Somebody is selling. Somebody is moving forward. I'm hearing whatever you, whatever you surrender, whatever you let go of, you have a lot of love for it. But somebody is now just taking charge of their life. They're not trying to control anything. Somebody is just surrendering when it comes to the divine. Somebody is about to take off. Let's put some more. Let's put some more. I'm picking up a lot of messages right now. Mm, okay. Yeah, not a water under the bottom. Your wishes, your wishes come true. Concerns fade away. A love of a life. Yeah. So if you had it. Spirit is saying all your wishes are about to come true. Whatever concerns you guys had, it had faded away. Something that you manifested, some seeds. If you was concerned about a situation, you're no longer concerned about that situation anymore. Somebody is if somebody is making themselves a priority. Somebody is stepping into their power. They're choosing them and they're unapologetic about it. Yeah, the will, Archangel Michael. A time of positive change. A, situ a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. I cannot make it up. Good fortune is on your side. Somebody is just moving forward. Uh, whatever change you made, whatever you surrender, it was a positive change. Somebody is letting go of negative situations, negative people, and deciding to put themselves first. So they can move forward. Something was just... 
something is just destined was destined for you and whatever that situation people places or things they were just holding you back you could have been very beneficial to these people but they weren't beneficial to what, what you had going on that's why the will is here something is turning something is changing because something was just part of your destiny to be you know it's, it's your birthright to be abundant and you know um be abundant and free and you don't have to apologize for that okay when you receive these blessings when these blessings come in you don't have to be like oh my god i can't believe this happened oh my god you know oh my god um this this is this mine this all this no it's your birthright be expecting it <laughs> be expecting it whatever the divine is about to bless you with be expecting it okay this is your birthright it's your birthright with surrendering to the journey it's your birthright to be free somebody was trying to hold you down somebody didn't want you stepping into your power somebody was hindering your growth somebody seen you going to beautiful places somebody seen you as abundant somebody wanted to hold on to you sunsees because they seen your wishes coming true but whoever you surrender whether it was a people place or thing they were hindering your growth there was nothing that this person could have gave you, but it was everything that you could have given to this person. And they were hiding that. Somebody, something about your intuition that somebody didn't want you to see. It was a lot of events going on behind the scenes. And I feel like you guys have released fears and you're no longer letting, you know, letting situations hold you back anymore. There's definitely, with the will, with the 10, um, there's definitely a completion, but it's also definitely, um, I'm here like whatever you want you can have. <laughs> Give me more Holy Spirit, one more. I'm hearing you guys about to be comfortable, real comfortable. Page of water, intuitive, um, sensitive, um, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins on a new phase. Yes, heightened psychic abilities. So a lot of you guys could be very intuitive. A lot of you guys can be psychic. Um, but your gifts, with this abundance, it comes in all forms. It comes in um, money, new homes, new jobs, um, new contracts. Um, a lot of you guys could be um, could have wrote in a book. A lot of you guys could have starting up um, started a shop that you guys have um, started from scratch. Whether that was painting, doing candles um making clothes something that you're doing i just heard charity maybe you guys could be starting um a non-profit organization to help to give back i'm hearing people are reaching out to you people want to work with you people want to support your business people want to support your ideas with this new person that's entering your life whether it's a relationship or business partner um a friend taking how it resonate, but this person is, is is coming into your life to help you. It says a new person into your life. A relationship begins a new phase. This is where this is you right where you need to be for whoever this reading is going to resonate to. You're right where you need to be. And with this 10 being on this card, you know you in order to have this new beginning, you have to release the old. Everybody can't go with you. You got abundant three times on these cards. Everybody can't go with you. You are stepping into your power. I'm sure you probably wanted to bring these people with, but a lot of people was hindering your growth. New chapters, new beginnings, new people, new energy. A lot of you guys, um, your abundance is in, in your um, in your um, is in your intuition. A lot of you guys are getting these supernatural, um, I heard supernatural power, these supernatural gifts, and it's going to bring you in a lot of abundance, I see. You guys could have felt like you was at a breaking point one time. You know, didn't know how things were going to go. What was the next step from you? Somebody is the rising phoenix, I just heard. Six of wands to the higher front. God is bringing you in a lot of su success. Divine is bringing you in a lot of success. King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is the most wealthiest, you know, in the deck. Yeah, King of Pentacles to the King of Wands. Some action that you guys are taking is going to bring you a lot of wealth. The Five of Swords, something is over with. 
Something is over with. Nine of Pentacles. Something is about to take your business to the next level, I heard. Something that you've been creating and something that you've been working on. And Spirit is giving you, I heard these supernatural gifts. So Spirit is giving you some type of supernatural gifts that put you on a path where it's going to bring you on a lot of, lot of fortune and abundance. I'm hearing you guys been dedicated for a while. Somebody could have felt like they was at a breaking point because things weren't working out. But Spirit is saying, right where you at right now is right where you need to be. Give me more of this energy. I'm picking up on this beautiful energy, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. Thank you. Queen of Cups. I'm hearing compassion, love, dignity. There's some type of choice that you made based on your feelings, based on your intuitions. Um, something that you've been dreaming about for a while. Something that you, 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 you've been nurturing for a while. Thank you, Spirit. With the Knight of Cups under the bottom. Something that you, some type of creative... Um, creative project that you've been working on that you you've been loving um, for a while you now have the strength I heard the strength so you now have the strength and the courage to take action and go towards that spirit is saying take that I'm getting like the leap of faith with the I'm getting like the fool card taking a leap of faith seven of wands yeah somebody could have felt defeated somebody could have felt like they was experiencing some blockages and you know they couldn't move forward it could have just been, you know, who the people you were surround. I heard everybody can't go with you. A lot of you guys are definitely focused on you right now, taking care of you, nurturing you, putting yourself first, and very unapologetic about it. I'm hearing you are attracting beautiful energies into your life. Something about a proposal I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, four swords. This is you guys putting something to rest that just no longer serve you. And that could have just been, you know, you having fear, anxiety, or a situation that was stressing you out. Something, something that was that was very overwhelming. You guys are putting that to rest. And now somebody is getting a whole new beginning. Four of Wands. Something's in regards to stability. Your home, your finances, your love life. Whoever you about to team up with, you guys are going to make, you know, bring a lot of prosperity and success together. Give me more Holy Spirit. Yeah, King of Pentacles. I cannot make it up. You know, it's... Whatever this is, you want to feel secure in some seeds. Okay? If you was looking for, like, security in a relationship when it comes to... You know, if you, you know, divine feminine, if you was looking for a relationship where you just wanted security, you just wanted to feel safe, whoever's coming into your life, this King of Pentacles is definitely going to give you the security that you need, okay? This person is definitely um, going to match your energy, I'm hearing. If you are divine masculine that's watching this reading, and you're someone who just, you know, you work hard, you're a good provider, you know, you're very dependable. And you just was looking for someone who was very compassionate, loving, and nurturing. This person is coming in with the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups. This person is going to be that for you. Okay? I'm hearing somebody ain't going to... Somebody just can't help themselves when it comes to you. Give me another card on all... Yeah, Six of Swords. <laughs> somebody is being divinely guided to come towards you. I'm hearing you guys about to rise to the top. Yeah, somebody who you about to go on a journey with. Give me another card on the Queen of Cups and Six of Swords. I see you moving away to common waters. Yeah, High Priestess. I'm hearing you know exactly what you want. You know exactly what you want, and you're going after that. The six of swords and high priestess, you know what you want, and you're going after that. Mm hmm. I'm hearing that divine has plans for you. Give me a card on the four of swords. You guys could have definitely been resting a lot. Yeah, three of pentacles. 
the four swords is clarified with the three of pentacles you could have put a lot of um you could have just could have been friendships people you associated with maybe it was a community people that was in your inner circle could have been somebody who used to work with that just no longer serves you anymore. Somebody could be angry, knight of swords to the world card, that something is ending, eight of pentacles, because you don't want to work with them no more, eight of pentacles to the ten of pentacles, the chariot. Somebody could be, mm, somebody could be feeling some type of way because they know you're moving on to success. They, they feel, Somebody could see you as losing you as a loss. Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, whatever you're working on, it's going to bring you in a lot of abundance. But there come um, with the World card and the Knight of Swords. Somebody could be angry about that. These could have also been people that you helped or that you was real patient with. But something, something is coming to an end. Maybe you don't have patience for the situation anymore. Give me another part of the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you don't have patience for the situation anymore. You don't want to work with these people anymore. These people are experiencing some type of heartbreak because you have removed your energy. I'm hearing somebody is just like, you know, they focused on them. They making themselves a priority and they unapologetic about it. What's this card? Eight of Cups in reverse. Yes. Somebody could have been trying to make you fearful about moving on, making you feel like, you know, you these opportunities, you know, um, when it comes to success, when it comes to relationship, when it comes to abundance, um, that you would never have this if you left them behind. Somebody could literally be codependent on your energy, and they were trying to put you in a fair, a, a fair place position where, you know, if you leave, nothing can happen for you. But Spirit is saying, first call was out was the miracles. Somebody was trying to stagnate you. Mm. This person, mm -mm, this person was no good. A lot of you guys have, you know, could have been married or, or now, you know, and getting a divorce and leaving a relationship behind and just focused on yourself independently, focused on your wealth, just nurturing yourself, caring on yourself, loving on yourself. Yeah, hang me out to the bottom. Somebody was trying to keep you stagnated. This person knew how ambitious you were. They knew how much of a go-getter you were. Somebody knew you was a magnet when it came to success and abundance. How loyal you, how generous. You know, um, how, you know, somebody seen you as, if you, if you had the opportunity to be in the limelight, they felt like you would be a, a threat to them. Wow, what the heck? Give me a card on the uh, King of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, whatever this new beginning is, Sun Seeds, it's going to bring you a lot of good news, a, um, a lot of wealth. You know, whatever this creative, passionate spark is for your life. Mm, excuse me. Confirmation. Something that you're talented at. You know, it's going to help you grow and elevate to the next chapter in your life. I heard earlier you are the rising phoenix. Somebody is just getting their feet wet. Somebody is just getting into the game. Yes, Ace of Cups under the bottom. And it's about to take off. Yeah, Ace of Cups to the Emperor. Somebody is about to be a real... Somebody about to be big boss around town. That's what I'm hearing. Big boss around town. A lot of you guys, um, whoever was trying to keep you back, keep you stuck in this in a relationship that just no longer serves your highest good spirit is about to replace somebody with it with an emperor that's that security that stability um someone who's fearless just like you um you know this could be an old older gentleman or older f female take how it resonate um but whoever this person is there's going to be a lot of new beginnings um a lot of new romance joy love um you know, for the ones who still good to see, might, you know, I see pregnancy here. So, if you don't, if that's not something that you want right now, just be cautious of that because somebody is definitely not only birthed in, um, they knew, um, they knew adventure in their life. They also, there's a pregnancy could be here as well. 
Give me a card on the Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody didn't want you to move on. Yeah. Nine of Swords. Yeah, somebody was fear. Somebody was fearful that if you moved on, how successful you would be. But with the Six of Swords to the High Priest, as you know by whatever you leaving leaving behind, you know intuitively, intuitively, this is going to be like the best thing you could have ever done. Nine of Swords, Three of Swords. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Pisces. Um, heavy on the earth, heavy on the water out here. Um, we have um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But um, I see you meeting someone of your own vibration. You know? Um, somebody could have been emotionally manipulated. Let me get a card. Another card. Let's get it. Yeah. I can't make it up. Spirit said that's the damn truth. Somebody was trying to emotionally, you know, manipulate you to keep you stuck in the cycle so you wouldn't move forward. So you wouldn't boss up when it comes to your stability. Somebody was used to you paying attention, giving love to this connection, giving love to this relationship, you know, being there. Um, even if they was in and out, somebody just used to you just giving attention to the connection, but something came to rest when it came to that, and you don't want to do that anymore, okay? A lot of you guys are focused on your stability. A lot of you guys are leveling up to a, a place in your life where you probably could have never even imagined. For a lot of you guys, you say, Mystic, I did imagine it. I manifested it. Yes, you did, Sunseed. Yes, you did. And you're moving away to calm waters, listening to your intuition. And whoever these people that you used to work with, you know, that want to have you with three of pinnacles, three of swords, that want to have you on love triangles, you are now letting go. And eight of cups in reverse, somebody didn't want you to move on. Somebody wanted to keep you stuck in some cycle when with the wheel here, that just wasn't part of your destiny. It just wasn't. Somebody is called to do higher things, you know, um, in this dimension, you know, um, before they leave this earth. Somebody has a beautiful destiny, and there's nothing going to hold them back. Nothing. Somebody wanted to hold you back, and that was never going to happen. And they was trying to hold you back by emotionally manipulating you to, you know, to make you feel like, you know, if you just wait and you just hold on tight, and, you know, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a give you the proposal, I'm going to give you the offer that you've always been looking for. Spirit said, put that shit to rest on seeds, okay? It's a sword. That's just the truth, okay? Justice. You're about to get some type of justice, okay? But somebody trying to have you on your head. Wheel of Fortune. Nine, nine of Wands. Somebody put you through a lot and they wanted to keep you stuck. Not only that, they betrayed you multiple times. Whoever these people from your past. Whoever you shared the past life connection with. Okay? Somebody wanted you to stay stuck. Okay? This person could, you know, um, be possibly be returning back to you guys. You know, just to try their chances again. But Spirit is saying, you're about to get justice. And because this person know that the intentions is not pure for you, oh, they about to get karma. Oh, yes, they is. Eight of Wands to the Queen of Swords. <laughs> That's the truth for me. Give me a card on the Wheel of Fortune, Holy Spirit. Because their intentions is not pure. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune is clarified with the Shrimp card, Seven of Cups. Somebody wanted to confuse you, you know, while having multiple options. Mm -mm. No, you had to get the confidence up, you know, to, to see, you know, these beautiful opportunities that you've been manifesting, that you've been dreaming about, you know, to come into fruition. Somebody who was codependent, yeah, they realized something is over. The devil to the magician to the five of swords is over. All that codependency, manipulation, lying to you, trying to keep you stuck, five of wands, have you in competition and conflict to try to hinder your growth. Yeah, there's a change here with the death card. Seven of wands. This is you standing your ground towards this energy. This is nasty. Yeah, somebody wanted to have you stuck, but you see things clearly now. I can't make it up. You see things clearly now with the sun. King of wands. Somebody's a natural born leader, you know, and they, you're going to, yeah, crack the deck. Look, Empress to the Lovers, to the Six of Wands, to the Nine of Pentacles. I cannot make it up to the Page of Wands. 
You about to be living your bestest life, Empress. Like how you deserve. Page of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Be expecting good news. Something that you've been working hard on. Um, see, somebody just only sees, you know, these great rewards. Yeah, look, the temperance. The temperance to the moon card. Yeah. Yeah, your angelic help is definitely here because somebody was trying to hide hide something from you. But with the Nine of Pentacles being here, page of one, somebody only might see the out of they could see the success. They're gonna see this and think the spirit, so they're gonna see the success. And they're gonna think that you owe them or you just have it easy. Somebody can't stand how successful you are or, or how successful you will be. But you, you didn't we see the ten of pentacles and the eight of pentacles somebody you put in a lot of work the nine of pentacles is someone who's not only successful but you're self-made hard-working independent um you know a lot of you guys people can feel like you know your priority is your work um and that can be for you know a lot of you guys um you know uh, besides your children if you have any children but these are people that don't want to do the hard work but want to hold on to you because you're the one who put in the work you're the one who go after the things you want you're the one who ambitious spirit is saying no this person's time is up you you decided to make a conscious choice about putting something to rest and focusing on you and and, and you know bossing up in your life empress there you go you don't chase nothing you attract everything and somebody want to have you in a love triangle you know um keep you around have you think that they're gonna put you in competition and chase after them? No, no. And with the Queen of Cups being here, I feel like you still, as you move on, you still have compassion for this person, and you're not bitter, you're not mad. It just your time is up in this person's life for whoever these person or these people, because the the four um the four ones or the five of ones, this could be a family, a community. You know, take it how it resonates. But somebody that was bringing you conflicts. All of that is ending, okay? All of that is ending. All that bad bad mouth that I'm hearing, you know, talking down on your name, that is over with. That is over with. Let's get you guys the message before we close this out, Holy Spirit. One more, one more before we close this out, Holy Spirit. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All righty. I am disciplined. I am disciplined. This is a lot, Holy Spirit. I am disciplined. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is staring with creative ideas and you have the organization skills to manifest them, manifest them to life. I am disciplined. Somebody didn't want you to be disciplined. Somebody wanted you to be scattered. Have your emotions all over the place. Mm -mm. Spirit is saying no. Yeah, I am intuitive. You have you have the awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be great and guided and supportive. I'm it's supportive. This is you. This is you right here. You have the insight and awareness of, about everybody that's around you. That's why when you two-step and move the way you move, it's because your intuition already told you. Nobody can't hide nothing from you. And it says, I am nurturing. Your heart is your gift. You are a natural-born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epiphany of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. That of course, that is you, Empress. <sighs> Somebody was trying to hold you back, and that uh -uh, because you're so nurturing, because you're so. That's why I said, whoever you walk, yeah, I am brave. Whoever you walking away from, you still have compassion towards that situation. I am adventurous, but you saying like, listen, I'm I'm choosing me. I'm making myself a priority and what's best for me, and I'm unapologetic about it. And congratulations, Sunseeds. Congratulations. 
I love you guys so very much. Congratulations on, you know, whatever this beautiful change is for you guys, for whoever this reading is going to resonate to. Again, I love you guys so very much. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box. Later, sunsees. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And leave me in the comments. <laughs> leave me some comments. Let me know. Let me know what's going on, sunsees. Congratulations. You deserve it. Later.